So Patrick, yeah. one of the biggest things that Dan Foss came out with at Chill Vanta is this new mechanical valve. Yeah. My understanding, since I've been learning about CO2, that you need an electronic expansion valve because mechanical valves just aren't fast enough. They cannot open and close to man manage that pressure increase depending on how it's coming from the flash tank receiver. Why don't we talk about this new valve? Yeah, well, let's not forget, this is a world premiere. So be very lucky, right? So this yeah. is... Uh, this I get is, to see it firsthand. It's, 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 a huge, it's a huge thing for a very small valve, but, <laughs> um, but this is a world premiere. So we are the first having a thermostatic expansion valve for, uh, for CO2, but this is not to replace the, the high pressure valve or the gas bypass valve. Yep. This is for the injection into the evaporator below. Yep. So this is not replacing the two valves on top. Yeah. Um, but it, it is fast enough. Uh, we have tested it extensively and we have quite a few running in the field already, doing field tests. Um, it's running on a quite low superheat of 2-3K. That's wow. how it comes out of the factory. Okay. It is somewhat adjustable. And the thing is, uh, it uses this exactly the same orifices as you know from our original T2 valves that we had for, well, what is it? Almost 100 years or so. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's using the same orifices. So uh, you can even exchange those. Um, there is uh, a small filter inside. Still, as you say, work, please work very cleanly, yeah. but um, there is a small filter inside. So uh, it is fast enough, absolutely. So what is the advantage now going from, because we had an electronic valve now into the TX. What do you see the advantage of going this direction? Uh, this one is, is um, a dedicated, let's say, let's say case OEMs that produce uh, refrigeration cases that want to do, uh, send these out with a valve on site. Uh, normally they would use the, well, any brand out there or the AKV from Denfoss. Yeah. And now they can also have a chance to maybe put on a thermostatic expansion valve. Yeah. And it's, it's price in the end, right? Yeah. So now we have more choices we can That's offer. Yeah. Uh, you can either have an electronic one, a stepper valve or the AKV, or they can offer a thermostatic valve. And normally this will be used in somewhat smaller systems, yeah. uh, not in huge systems, not in very big supermarkets. So this is for maybe small uh, C stores. Yeah. Uh, Around. And I'm assuming it would be installing just like a T2 valve. You it's do the exactly same. the same. It looks the same. It acts the same. It is the same. Just um, it can handle higher pressures. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it can higher handle up to 90 bars. Awesome. 90 bars. That's 90 awesome. Bar. Yeah. Love it. That's gonna that's gonna be huge in the industry. So new technology always happening. This is why you want to come to the booth at Dan Potts at Chill Vanta next time for sure that it's happening. Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you do click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.